Hello students, and welcome to the next lesson of our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at meanders. Meanders are basically bends in the course of a river, and this is what the river looks like from a bird's eye view. As we can see, the water will flow along the river down here, and we can see the banks which are located along the sides. Now, there's two parts of rock which are going to make up the river bed. We have hard rock, which is very resistant and very hard to erode, and we have soft rock, where the soft rock is very easy to erode and very soft. So, naturally, the soft rock begins to get eroded more at a faster rate than the hard rock. What this means is the soft rock, as we can see now, decreases in size and over time it begins to erode. Now the hard rock doesn't. What this means is that the river, when it's going to be flowing in, can't get around the hard rock or erode it. So this is pretty much an obstacle and the river can't pass it at all, so it gets blocked. What this means is that the river is going to have to move around the hard rock. So it's going to come around the course of the hard rock because it can't go through it or over it or it may go over it or may go around it. And it's going to head in the direction of the soft rock. So, as it heads in the direction of the soft rock, it's being pushed out of the direction of the hard rock. So the rate of flow and the direction of the flow of the river is naturally going to bend and then erode through the soft rock and then continue through the course. What this means is now, this bank over here is beginning to get eroded. So, over time, this bank here begins to see a lot more erosion because that's when the majority of the direction of flow is heading. So, what this means now is that there's going to be different areas where uh, they're receiving different rates of hydraulic action and also rates of attrition or abrasion in other areas. So, now, you could probably notice this yellow bit here, and the yellow bit is meant to represent sediment. So, this means that the river, when it's travelling here, is going to come through the soft rock and erode it. However, all the parts and all the particles that it's carrying are going to be deposited over here by the hard rock. That's because maybe the hard rock may cause the sediment to prevent from moving, and it will then start to get a build-up around this area. However, it doesn't always stay in the bank, so it may um, head, it doesn't stay in the river, so it may head towards the banks, and then gather up around this part here, hence causing a sediment build-up on the other bank. And this is eventually what we get. We get this meandering movement up and down and zigzagging across the river due to these different rates of deposition and erosion. So, for example, let's have a look at this section here. As we can see, the hard rock has more sediment on its side and the soft rock area has been completely eroded and we get this nice natural curve. Then, up here in this section, we can see that the soft rock is being eroded and we're getting more of a bend. Say, this area here could probably show what we could see if the soft rock was completely eroded and the bank then expanded then we could probably assume that there'd be a lot more deposition occurring on the other side because all the area here is being eroded but here it can be deposited and this is how we get the formation of a meander in the river here are some questions on the formation of meanders be sure to answer these on another sheet of paper and press pause to give yourself time hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers here are the answers if you got both of these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the formation of Oxbow Lakes. As always, thanks for watching and visit Revise A Level or the channel playlists for more information. I'll see you next time.